This video will show you how to connect the Olympus 38 link to a wireless LAN network using your PC. As described in the Getting Started leaflet, first turn on the 38DL Plus and make sure that the communication settings are as shown. Also, make sure that a wireless LAN dongle has been plugged into the USB port under the side door of the 38 link. The availability of these dongles depends on your region. You can then turn on the 38 link wireless adapter by pressing the power button. The power indicator glows red while the 38 link adapter completes its power up sequence. If the 38 link battery is sufficiently charged, the power indicator glows green and the device is ready to use. If the 38 link battery is not sufficiently charged, the power indicator would continue to glow red and the display would show the message, battery is low, please wait for charging. The 38 link battery may take up to 60 minutes to charge. After some time, the device will eventually show no WLAN connection, and the status for WLAN and the status for the cloud will both show as N for not connected, since the device currently does not have an internet connection. To connect to a wireless LAN network or mobile hotspot, first we will need to put the 38 link into WLAN setup mode. To do this, press the I button for at least five seconds. The display will show the message, to enter WLAN setup, press again five seconds. To exit, press and release quickly. Press the I button again for at least five seconds. The display will show several messages while it is setting up an access point. You will need to follow this process whenever setting up a new connection. The display will eventually show WLAN AP mode and have a network SSID and a password, along with the IP address for the 38 link. This will be a different network SSID and password whenever the 38 link is in this mode. In this case, the SSID is Olympus-62 and the password is OLY-1494. On your PC, click the network icon in the bottom right corner. You should now see the access point called out by the SSID on the 38 link. In this case, it's Olympus-62. If you click the access point and then click connect, you can then enter the password shown on the display of the 38 link. In this case, it's OLY-1494. Then click Next, or OK if you're using a Windows 7 computer. For the pop-up shown, we will click Yes. The PC will only be discoverable for a very short time while we finish the setup process. Once connected, you'll see that the Olympus 62 is showing no internet secured. This is what we want. If you were using Windows 7, it would show as limited access. The next step is to launch your browser. We recommend using either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We can then enter the IP address shown on the 38 link display. In the URL, enter 192.0. 168.0.1 and then press enter. The Olympus WLAN configuration page should display with a list of available networks. The 38 link can store up to five network connections, including mobile hotspots. This allows the 38 link to automatically connect to any of the stored network connections when they are available and within range. If you wish to reset all previously stored connections, you can click Reset WLAN Setup. To connect to a network that is not shown, you can scroll down to the bottom of the list and select Other Network. You can then enter the SSID for that network. Choose WPA slash WPA2 for the security, and then enter the password. If the network is shown, click the network name Ensure that security is set to WPA slash WPA2 
and then enter the password. Then click Submit. At this time, 38Link will automatically restart. It is important to note that the SSID and password entered cannot be verified by Olympus. If the 38Link restarts and fails to connect to the network you chose, the SSID or password may have been entered incorrectly, and you could try repeating this process, ensuring that the SSID and password are entered correctly. Once the 38Link boots up, it will try to connect to the network. If successful, the WLAN status will change to C for connected. Once connected to the internet, the 38 link will check to see if the device is registered on the Olympus Scientific Cloud. If it is not, it will change the status to NR for not registered. A separate video shows how to register your 38 link to the Olympus Scientific Cloud. If you want to see which network the device is connected to, you can press and release the I button quickly to cycle through the different menus. Thank you for watching this getting started video for the Olympus 38 link. For more information, please contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.